Hello, I'm Bud, and you may know me from the Master Lighting Course or as one half of Kimberly Sarah Photography. Today, I'm going to talk to you about this cart. We find it interesting for all the videos we put up online and, of course, all the videos we have in the Master Lighting Course, we get more questions about that little red cart than probably anything else. Because when they see pictures of Kim and I behind the camera, why is that cart always right next to you? And the answer is because it's our bag of tricks. It's the stuff we want to have right at hand. And the cart is a necessity built of our studio. Most photographers have a studio where they're photographing in one direction the entire time. The dog is always in sort of one position or your subject, because not everyone's a dog photographer. And the photographer tends to be always in one position. That is not true in our studio. Our studio is 25 feet wide and over 80 feet long, and every wall is a set wall. And as a result, our shooting positions, our photography positions, our subject position, is constantly changing throughout the studio. So when we move around, we take the cart, which is our bag of tricks, with us. Let's show you what's inside of it. The very top drawer is very narrow, and as a result, it only holds little things. So if you take a peek, it looks like your junk drawer. Well, except for one small problem. There's some really important things in here that are far from junk. Number one is this X-ray color, color checker. Now, this we use in every single shot, despite the fact we're really shooting on the same sets in the same studio all the time because it gives us super accurate color. There's some signage, a uh, pair of scissors. There's always a uh, tag or something to remove off of a garment. Um, I guess those are hair clips, maybe for putting on funny bows. That's more of a Kim thing. Pens for signing the model releases. Screws and multi-tools and things uh, for putting base plates and tripod plates on cameras. I think that's pretty straightforward. One clamp, we have buckets of these out back, but that clamp, just having one handy, uh, Sharpie, razor for getting uh, labels off of uh, glass, things like that. We buy a lot of stuff at Home Goods that ends up being part of our sets. Scissor clamp, don't use this every day in our studio, but it's there so I don't lose it candidly. Um, this is an Olo, O-L-O, and it's a rolling pair of scissors and it's used for cutting seamless paper. Uh, we don't use seamless paper too often, but when we do, to cut off that ragged edge uh, and to get rid of parts, it's a lot easier than scissors. Um, and blue sticky tack. The blue sticky tack is used uh, to help things stay in place. Um, for example, you might be using a, um, I don't know, a wooden box or a crate or something, and you're going to put a dog or, or something in it. And what this is for is if you put a little bit of this on each bottom corner and push it down firmly on your background substrate, uh, it won't rock, it won't you know, move around, and, and dogs just hate it when things move, so there you go. Oh, and a piece of chalk, I'll show you what that's for in a second. Uh, the next drawer is a little more <laughs> probably familiar to the dog photographers uh, in the crowd. They're noisemakers, and boy do we have a lot of them. Uh, of course, the number one is this uh, new tone, I think it's called Flextone, Flextone, that's it, Flextone uh, Duck Whistle. Um, this we use a lot. Make some great noises with that. Uh, the bell, um, famously, that's my Valentine's Day present to Kim. It's a slide whistle. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, of course, your official animal image makers uh, whistle. Uh, we have a few of these. Thank you, AIM. Uh, if you don't go to AIM, you should be. I don't know what that's about, but you gotta go. Uh, train whistle. Um, the moo cow thing, that's new to us. Someone gave, that, uh, gave us that hint. Um, only good for the dog's attention for just a moment. Um, little bells, which we made up. Um, big bells, which this is ridiculous. But my gosh, does it work. Uh, sometimes you want to get away from those sort of noises. Clapper's easy. Uh, but you get the idea. Noisemakers, oh, squirrel call. Super fun. Uh, but that's that drawer. In this drawer is a sort of odd hodgepodge, but very important. The, of course, the transmitters for the Profoto system. Yes, we have two. Um, nothing can make a shoot go south quickly if your transmitter dies. So we keep them both with fresh batteries. Of course, more fresh batteries right here. Remember, folks, for your transmitters, you don't really want to use rechargeables. Of course, another Nikon camera battery, a spare memory card. Uh, we use XQD in our D850s just sitting there ready to go. More tripod feet. 
This is a pocket wizard in case we're trying to integrate um, older non-pro photo lights. We don't use that much anymore. Um, and clean hand towels. Of course, these are in brand colors for us. Um, Kim's eyeglasses, um, these are just readers that she needs when we're looking at the back of the camera. She always has them, but we keep spares in here just so if she sits down without them, she's ready in there right there for her. Gaffer's tape and painter's tape, depending upon the need. Of course, a lens cleaning pad. And of course, <laughs> this is the drawer with the least amount that can damage it. Little crowns and things that we do once in a while, not every day. The next drawer is a little harder to see. This is the case from a Profoto D2. And it's in this drawer, not so much because we put the light in it, because it's padded. And it's the same size as that we drop whichever lens we're not using. We use either the 70 to 200 or 24 to 70. 70 to 200 almost always. And then we have large breed or giant breed dogs, or if we have a family or a group of dogs, we switch to the 24 to 70. No caps, just sitting in here, ready to go. Also in here will be the spare batteries for the B10 and the Profoto B1. Uh, just a couple of them, just so in the middle of a session, if we're in a hurry and something dies on us, we can use those. Most of we're using the D2s, but we often sprinkle in the battery-powered lights as well because they're super easy to move around the studio. And our last drawer is, again, not a junk drawer. It's really super useful. Uh, let me pull this back so the camera gets a better view. There we go. Um, in here, we keep the sign. This is the welcome sign. We write on it with chalk, and when folks walk in our front door, welcome, oh, I don't know, let's pick a Rex, the most generic dog name ever. We hand write that on there. I'll set that aside, but that's right on top, and it's on top to remind me to, you, to do it. Uh, clean up spray, we'll talk about more about that. Um, dog waste bags, uh, we have buy them by Amazon from the case. Um, of course, lint roller. More blue sticky tack, dog treats. I don't, we don't really use milk bones. I have no idea why those are there. A ratchet strap in a bag. Uh, we have these posing blocks that we put dogs on sometimes, and when we put two of them together, I ratchet them together so they won't move. Sometimes uh, on our even, uneven floors, we have a, a set piece that might need a little propping on one end. We use that. Um, just a little hand towel. Atmospheric aerosol, we don't use that every day, um, but it's like a fog spray. And the treats we use by and large, of course, we're always pre-checking to make sure the dogs aren't bothered by it are the Charlie Bears because they're very small and we keep those around um, in quite volume. That's a good idea. Lots of treats. Uh, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. On the side of the cart is a paper towel dispenser, just magnets right on there, and of course um, a waste bag dispenser as well, just zip tied on the side. Uh, and on the other side, I won't bother pulling it around, and attached to the other side with a bit of sticky tape is a bit of this black foil called Roscoe foil. Um, and it's used for making snoots or something weird. And it kind of solves a problem where we couldn't solve it any other way. Uh, and this is just hanging off the other side of the cart. So that's it. That's what's in our little cart that shuttles around with us inside of our studio. It's inexpensive. We've retasked it from another purpose over the years. Um, if I were starting all over again, I'd probably paint the thing in our brand color, which is that aqua color. Um, I think it would be pretty awesome. Will I take the time to do it now? <laughs> probably not, you know, because it works and it does what we need it to do. Both Kim and I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions for us, info at the Master Lighting Course. Of course, you can sign up online to get our emails. And uh, otherwise, you can check out our work at KimberlySarahPhotography.com. Thanks.